it's me, Sydney. So today I'm going to be doing a compare and contrast between these two products. So a lot of people use the St. Ives um, Blemish Control Apricot Scrub, which basically what it does is prevents blackheads and minimizes pores. Um, I used this for an extremely long time because it, I thought it worked so well and I thought that it was just a great product in general, but then as I got into researching it and I actually talked to one of my dad's friends who is a dermatologist, she said that this actually was bad for your skin because you do want to stay away from the crystals in this because this has crystals instead of beads. So I'm going to be going into all the details between these two babies. Comparing and contrasting these two is going to be kind of fun because they're both uh, facial scrubs or uh, like just scrubs and they're both for your face so hopefully you guys find this interesting you guys like this and I'm just gonna start off with talking about like each product in general so the first thing I want to do is talk about the St. Ives and this is just the blemish control apricot scrub and I just want to say a couple things about this um, basically it's oil free it's hypoallergenic there is um, no comedogenic, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, it's formulated without parabens and phthalates, I think that's what it is. It's dermatologist tested, but it's not recommended by them. So basically what they do is they try to trick people into thinking that this is recommended by dermatologists because so many people don't realize a lot of things on it. But um, I'm just going to get down to the down and dirty where you can buy this everything like that. both purchasable at Target and I definitely recommend picking this one up over this one but if you do want to pick this one up anyway you can I'm not saying you can't so basically this just treats acne but um it it like scrubs your face and gets all the dead skin cells off too and the thing that I do like about this is I feel like it takes that whole layer off and it leaves me feeling so like soft but it doesn't leave it le like it doesn't leave it with that residue on my face so I'm glad it takes off all the oil because I have a very oily face and uh, and this makes it just fresh and clean so when you open it up it looks like this Here's the consistency it's very um, it's crystals instead of beads like apricots but it still smells like it cleans off your face but the thing is with this it has crystals and what the crystals do it makes small cuts in your face because it's so harsh and I don't recommend doing that because that will cause more fine lines and wrinkles which later on when you when you're like my age and you're starting to use these products you don't realize the effect it'll have when you get older and it, it's better to prevent it than start it at this time so this is just by St. Ives, by the but way. This is by Clean and Clear, and you can get this at Target for about $5. And um, this is the Morning Burst Facial Scrub. And I want to just tell you, I used it this morning, and I'm not wearing any makeup, by it the way. It smells so amazing. It's beads, by the way. Instead of crystals, it's beads, which basically don't cut your face because they are round and they're not sharp edges. So it goes across your face, gets everything off, and also gives you a burst of hydration, which I really like because my skin feels so amazing after this. Like it felt the best it's ever felt because it didn't scratch my face and it didn't. Hopefully you guys can see this. So it's really nice. And I definitely recommend this product to anyone who wants their face to feel flawless and like just give them that extra boost of confidence. Because I personally don't wear foundation concealer or anything like that because I try to like let my natural beauty for my skin show and this has helped fully with this. I actually have picked up other types of clean and clear things like the um, like their morning burst line is just amazing in general but this one is the detoxifying facial clean cleanser this has beads in it also this was just like a short little review video because you guys have been asking me what I use on my face and this is the one I use but I see so many people that use this and I used it for a long time as you can tell I used a good amount of it and um, I'm still using this one I've gotten to about here but um they both come with a lot of product, but the thing is, I'm trying to take care of my skin. I want it to look radiant and glowing, and um, 
yes I have seen so many youtubers and beauty gurus and bloggers and vloggers and Instagrammers and all my friends they all use this because they don't realize the harshness of it on their face so I definitely recommend that you look into products before you get them, if they're especially if they're going on your face. Unless you have seen this in a video, like, talking about it, and I'll probably be able to link an article down below of proof of what I'm talking about because um, I was, you know, I'm just letting you guys know that. And then also, if you guys want more ideas of facial cleansers, there's also the Aveda, um, I think it's like called Cell Charge or something. It is amazing. That one works really well, but it doesn't. It isn't a scrub. It's just a cleanser. So if you were looking for one of those, but this is the best facial scrub I've ever tried. These two were my favorites. I've tried so many different facial scrubs, but these two are my all-time favorite. So I decided to do a little compare and contrast on them. But basically, they're the same except for the fact that um, the scrubbing part. This one cuts your face just a little bit. Um, make small little baby cuts in your face which eventually add up to fine lines and wrinkles and you do not want to have that on your face. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to thumbs up and comment on this video and um, if you guys want to see anything else just let me know because I love you guys so much and um, yeah so I love you guys. Bye!